What's poppin' guys? Zach here, Hegna Techna. And today I'm gonna be going through my silver bullion collection. These are coins that are minted that are meant to just be bullion. So, for example, I have this is uh, Chicago Bulls Eastern Conference uh, Champions coin from 1996 with Michael Jordan. NBA Finals, see right here. Uh, so this is an ounce of silver. And usually these coins are just worth a bullion, so it's just worth an ounce of silver, which is roughly $17, $18 right now, somewhere in that range. Silver usually fluctuates daily. But this one might be worth a little more, because it's actually quite interesting. But these ones, I have two that are Indian and Buffalo. They look like the, the Buffalo nickels, the fronts, but the back is just Buffalo. These are both one ounces. And then got some more. These are definitely just worth one ounce of silver. They're nice for stacking, stacking silver. This one is a Canadian one and a fourth ounce. As you can see, it is worth $8. It's a 2016 Canadian one fourth ounce. As you see also, the monetary value on these coins are much less than the melt value, but for them to be official currency, they need to have at least some sort of value, even though it's never what it's worth in silver. This is $2, this is a half ounce Canadian. Right here, these are half ounce Canadians. This one is 2015, 2016, as you can see. Very cool coins. This is an Australian kangaroo, 2016. One ounce, 0.999 fine silver. See the queen. And then I got a Mexican Libertad, one ounce as well. This is a 2015 coin. I really like the back. Pretty cool. Now this is 2015 Year of the Goat. Very cool. I like goats, so I decided to get this one. As you can see, very reflective. It almost looks like a reverse proof on the back. This is, is a. Not quite sure. It must be some British territory or something that had a connection with British. It has N-I-U-E on it, so maybe it's an island or something. Let's see. Next we got a 2015 again. One and a fourth ounce Canadian. Also with a melt uh, of a monetary value of $8. Nice corn. And then we got, this one's a little cool. This one actually has a higher monetary value than the melt. This is a $20 Canadian coin. Not sure about the silver content. Maybe a fourth ounce or something. But yeah, so that one's pretty cool. This one is an Austrian Philharmonic, uh, 2017. So this one's cool. I really like the back. As you can see, there's different instruments and stuff. And then we got a, let's see, 1999. Britannia. 
I believe this is the UK. Really reflective, can be kind of hard to see, but 1999 Britannia. This is a two pound melt, uh, monetary value. Melt's worth, it's one ounce, so it's probably seven, 18 US dollars. Now, I'm gonna be getting to the American bullion that you guys might or may not know about. First of all, the 1987 American Silver Eagle. Let's see if this, there we go. This has a mintage of 11 million, 11.4 million, so it's not too bad. However, this one is actually definitely worth more than the bullion price. This one is, because you can see right there, 1996. This has a mintage of 3.6 million. This is the key date. This was a nice pickup. I picked this one up for 25 bucks. Okay, and then, and my alarm's off. I'll be back in a second. Okay, sorry about that guys. Okay, now we are at, right here, 2006 American Silver Eagle. The Walking Liberty Half Dollar actually has something close to this obverse, but the reverse is different. These are all an ounce of silver. Now I got a 2013. Very cool. And actually, you see this um, next year, 2011, uh, 2021. This is going to say the same, but this is going to be different. And this is the 2020. This is the last year of the design that's going to be like this. So as you see, 2020, this is going to be the same design. But this back is actually going to change. So I think they have like three different options and they're voting on it or they're deciding something about it. But yeah, well, as you can see, this is my silver bullion collection. The main ones that people like to collect are the American Silver Eagles, the Austrian Philharmonic, the Libertads, and then maybe the Canadians, but those are the big three. And I also have the funsies, ounce of copper. Yeah. So as you can see, a lot I have quite a bit of silver bullion. Let me know down in the comment section below if you stack bullion and if you do, what your favorite bullion coin is to stack. And as always, catch you on the upside.